All right, so we're here with Camila Cabello and a special guest. Eugene Fitzherbert, everybody. Eugene Fitzherbert, Hello. Making his TV interview debut. Fitzherbert. Oh yeah. That Have you ever that. seen the movie Tangled? No, I haven't. Oh my God. Have you? I haven't. Best Disney movie ever. It's oh, my favorite. Is that the love interest in the movie the go with the go goatee? Yes. Yes. <gasps> so hot. Who plays that, by the way? I think it's somebody famous. That I, I have no know. idea. Somebody but I think like as an animated movie character, yeah. he's really gorgeous. So is that the inspiration for the, for the yeah, name? Is that, gorgeous? Um, well, I just like to, I want to name Hi. my dogs after Disney characters. Yeah. So Eugene Fitzherbert. Is, so when you're at a show like this, because we're indoors right now and there's a lot of concrete, where's Eugene go to the potty? Well, we put a little towel for him and uh -huh. he's a very good boy <laughs> and he just kind of pees on the towel. But sometimes, like yesterday, we were in the hotel room and he just pooed. He just went in there and pooed. And I stepped on it with my sock. True no. story. <laughs> yep. But Aww. that's what you do for love. So he's kind of sort of potty trained. He's kind of sort of, like, exactly. Like a road dog. He's like, yeah, he's like 80% potty trained. But look at him, he's just so cute. He's amazing. He's adorable. And to be honest with you, like, I was like obsessed. With, I, like, my obsession has been mostly like, I love big dogs because uh -huh. I like to feel like I have like a dragon or like a, uh -huh. like a dire wolf, like protecting me. Oh my God, me, right? yes. So one of my dogs is like huge like that. Who's Eugene's best friend? Who's uh, his best dog friend? His best dog friend yeah. is, uh, I have two other dogs, Leo and Thunder. He doesn't want to be here anymore. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Camila will be right back right after back. the short handoff of Eugene. It's so funny. I didn't think he would mind. Like, I've, I never bring him into, like, interviews or pictures mm -hmm. or anything like that. But today I felt like I just kind of, like, needed him. Yeah. But I not? actually don't think he likes interviews, so I'm not going to do that really? anymore. It's just like yeah, the lick. I'm comfortable, yeah. yeah. Um, is he your favorite dog right now? Your other dogs aren't listening. You could be honest with us, Camila. <laughs> no. He's not. No, I like them all equally, but I have a true soft spot for Thunder. Yeah. Aww. My big dire wolf dog. Your dire wolf? I love big dog. Like, I love them. I love that. Did you actually watch Game of Thrones in one month, all eight seasons? Yeah, man. That's insane. I know. I didn't know it was real well, when I came out Not too much? Of that. No. Like, didn't you feel sad when it was over because you got so immersed in it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I felt like, what do I do with my life now? Oh, yeah, singing. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> I, right. do, I do love that when you met Amelia Clark, that you actually bent the knee. Yeah. Like, because then she said, she was like, no one's ever actually bent the knee. I can't believe no one's ever, what's wrong with people? But I love that. I, <laughs> Thank oh, you. I love that. Should yeah. we bend the knee for you now? No, since no, no. Since no, you met Amelia. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but I'm so not. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. One degree away. <laughs> one degree away. <laughs> <laughs> can we just give you crazy props on how high you can get your voice? Because Anna and I were practicing. We, we've been practicing all day Thank from um, Living Proof. Living I just, proof. I just yeah. don't know how to hit that. It's hard. Like, do you go through, like, through your stomach? Because I can, <sighs> like, <laughs> But it just kind of, it's just like for me, to be honest mm -hmm. with you, yeah. I have to keep my voice, like I have to be Buddhist monk lifestyle. Right. I can't drink. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have to like be on vocal rest a lot because otherwise the first thing that goes from my voice is falsetto. So if you would catch me on like the day after like 4th of July, mm -hmm. I can't sing that. Because I guarantee you there's so many people in their car that goes, where did you come from, baby? That How was, was that? We've, not been, bad. we've been trying that all day. That's yeah, yeah. Pretty, <laughs> all day. Been you guys can never say that again because that was fantastic. Uh, well, you didn't hear Thank my Thank you. That's on the record. My, my <laughs> okay, all right. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. One, <clears throat> two, three. I think it's who, who. That was good. That was me, guys. That was not Camila. That that was good, and also you're you're a man, so <laughs> your voice some. your voice is naturally lower. I was legit nervous to do that in front of you. I, 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 I don't know if you heard the shakiness in my voice, but I was I heard it nervous. at the end, but that was really good. I'm actually super impressed. That's and really I, good. That's so hot. Nice. That's hot for I'm not even classically trained or anything. Oh, my you know, God. You weird. just did that. You're talented. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a vocal coach with you at all times? Um, I, I do. Okay. Not, he's not with me at all times, but like mm -hmm. we FaceTime every time I have to sing. Do you use those cool like humidifier things? I do. I always see people like posting those on Instagram saying that they're getting ready. But does that just you like can't talk while you use it? You, you can talk. It. it just is that there's different kinds. But like the one I use it today, it's called mm -hmm. a steamer. That's cool. And so it just blows like hot steam in your voice. So that plus Buddhist monk lifestyle is the right. reason I can hit those notes. Otherwise, I'd be like freaking Post Malone. Uh -huh. <laughs> like which, like for example, like Shameless, like my voice is like super raspy and that's because I had no voice up there. Now how the performing with Taylor come along? Because it was just three of you up there, including Taylor. Yeah. Out mm -hmm. of all the female singers out there, she hit you up. I know, it was such a cool moment because I remember like right before we went on, on stage, she's like doing her, I'm like a huge Taylor Swift fan. Same, oh, right? same, same, same. Yeah, like mm -hmm. literally like her whole discography, like I know it. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and so imagine like I was like backstage and like, hearing her sing like Love Story and all these songs and I was like, aww. <laughs> and then it was like, you know, the things were about to go up and me and Halsey were gonna go out there. Halsey, I know, had the same experience because I think like for our like generation, mm -hmm. like yeah. all of us girls, like 
I think that she was like the soundtrack to a lot of our memories. Exactly. Well, no, a lot yes. of our lives. Let me blow you away because Anna was just telling me before you walked in here. Yes. This, I, it, right, yeah, right before you walked in, I did, because we were talking about the AMAs. And, oh, okay, I'll tell you. Tell, tell okay, Anna. Okay, okay. But I think like you, your career, your music, especially the way that you talk about romance and everything, like I feel like you to girls now is what Taylor was to us, essentially. I agreed with her. You know? there you go. <laughs> no, I mean it though. I totally mean it. Like the way that you described no, your I know. upcoming that's, like album. That's really so sweet. And like that's you, really it's so mystical and magical. That's and it's so nice. And that's a Taylor Swift You're like lyric. a real life princess. <laughs> oh like my a Disney God. princess. You guys stop. Like you're in person, person she looks no, like you're it. You're not kidding. This you're, is yeah. the, actually you're my favorite. Friend. Like you're making my entire week. <gasps> stop. With well, what look, you're saying. Seriously. You know what else I think you would be dope in? Everything. A telenovela. Yes. What? Me? No. Stop it. I knew you would go, Camila. Camila. Stop it. Don't tell me that ever again. Why are you with that man, Camila? Because I love him. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Anna, wait. Well done. <laughs> that was great. Thank so you. we just did a scene right there from our new telenovela. Thank you. It's yeah. called Camila. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so you're Hispanic. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Nice. Cool. I am too, but I don't look like it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, she's Mexican too. Nice. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's yeah, so, so cool. If you ever want to throw down some Spanish, we got you. you know? All right. A huevo. A huevo. Oh, she threw it down. Si te gusta hablar en español. Sí, me encanta. Mucho. I mean, te, I mean, yo escucho más música en español ahora que música en inglés. Y te enseñó tu mamá y tu papá. Sí. Cuando estabas creciendo. Sí, y yo también, bueno, yo viví en México por un tiempo. Ah, ¿en qué parte? Ah, uh, Mexico City. Okay, okay, so Camila just told us she lived in Mexico City and she was taught Spanish by her mom and her dad. And that's the thing, a lot of... A I lot mean, of, I was taught... I literally just grew up speaking Spanish. I was taught yeah. English yeah. in a school in Mexico. Because a lot of us Hispanic people, if we're born in the States, our parents don't teach us English. So it's mm. really cool that... I'm going to teach my. I'm, I'm going to you know? teach my kids Spanish. It's okay. interesting because I I'm the same way. Well, I was born in Mexico, but my little brother was born here, yeah. and so he understands Spanish perfectly, but isn't comfortable speaking it. Yeah, you know, even though just because he grew up here, and that's my parents' biggest like, oh man, like the Spanish. But it's not too late. Yeah, yeah. Duolingo. It's a really good app. So I, I I use it to try to learn Portuguese. Stop. How's that going? I kind of say something in Portuguese. Stopped. Shut up. Uh, boa noite, bom dia. Claro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> parabéns. I don't know. What's parabéns mean? Congratulations. Oh, I parabéns. Think. Parabéns. Well, parabéns on romance. Thank you. You're welcome. Camila Cabello, you're going to be touring too for the album. Yes, of course. I am. So go check her out. 2020. 2020 girls, romance tour. Girls on Fire. She was kind of busy this year, and next year she's going to be a little bit more busy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So definitely go check her out. We're so excited for you. Thank Camila. You guys. you guys are awesome. That was a fun interview. <laughs>